guys. Welcome back. So, I was just playing with some cards, and I got a feeling I need to do a Pisces singles reading. When I get this feeling, I get these cards. Animals, happiness, peace. So, I feel like right now, you could be surrounding yourself as a single Pisces with animals. You could be focusing mainly on animals if you have animals or thinking about getting an animal. But I feel like you're focusing mainly on your happiness and your peace, and you're getting a sense of peace. A sense of peace I feel like you didn't realize you could have got being by yourself. Universe, give Pisces singles the messages they need to know. Sorry, guys, I jumped straight in. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope you guys will stick around. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I really hope you guys will click on this video and stay for a while. Sorry, I'm, I've got so much going on in my brain. I'm getting overloaded. Let me just slow down for a second. So this will be for Pisces singles, okay? So right off the bat, when karma came out, I had a lot of downloads coming in. I feel like a lot of the situations you've dealt with have been karmic situations. Situations to where you felt like you constantly gave more than anybody else in the connection. And it was like, why? Why do I have to give everything to these people and get nothing in return. I pour myself into them and they, excuse my language, they shit on you. Like, I mean, that's what I feel. King of Wands on the bottom as I split the deck to shuffle. Could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius that you've dealt with in the past. But the, overall, the overwhelming feeling that I'm getting is that you're just kind of done. So, for this reading, I'm wanting to focus on what is coming in for single Pisces. What does single Pisces have coming in that's new? I feel like right now you're focusing on yourself. You're filling up your cup with that happiness. You could be seeing a lot of butterflies and birds here. Um, but you are focusing on your own peace. White could be significant right now to you. White. White birds. You could be seeing a lot of white birds. Or you could be getting a white animal. I just seen a white bunny. Or a white dog. With the Four of Cups on the bottom, Queen of Cups, I feel like you're very discontent. You're not really happy where you're at right now, Pisces, in the point of your life. All right, universe, single Pisces. Let's, let's get it. What's going on in the current moment, single Pisces? Empress. So you are attracting everything and more. Sitting on your throne right now, you're... You're looking amazing. When people look at you, Pisces, they see everything. And this can be intimidating for people. That's not your problem, though. So, you have that Empress energy about you. You're the shit. We have, let's not, let's not sugarcoat it, y'all. It is what it is. And that, that's what you're portraying. Again, there's a bunny here. Bunnies could be significant. Someone could be spying on you. I get <laughs> we have king of wands on the bottom. So, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be getting communication from this person. Based on the cards on the bottom, <coughs> excuse me, guys. I've been really sick. I've had bronchitis. Based on the cards on the bottom, there could have been some sort of communication with this person or they're wanting to communicate. There was some sort of ending, some kind of heartbreak in this situation with this person. And it, it, there was a truth that come in, apparently. A big-ass truth. But I feel like this person's looking at you now. Okay, universe. We don't give a crap about the old person. New only. Universe, what's coming in? New person only. New person only. Absolutely. You're moving forward successfully. You could be traveling. You could be moving, moving states, moving countries. But you are taking charge and you are moving forward. You are making the change that you want in your life. Period. There's no ands, if, buts about it. You know what you want now in a relationship and you're not willing to settle is the energy that I'm getting. You could also be manifesting by using fire with his head being on fire here. That is a very powerful way to manifest, guys. If you've never done that, I would look into it. It's, it's amazing. With the high priestess here, you are in your power. You're using your intuition. You could be picking up on things that aren't easy to pick up on. Example. As a Pisces, it's easy for us to pick up on body language without someone having to actually say what they're meaning or they're thinking. And right now, you could be using that high priestess intuition to get you to where you need to go, to move you forward to the person that I feel that you're getting. Absolutely. So, you were with someone in the past 
that could have been a liar, cheater, thief. They manipulated the situation. You could have been with this person for a long, long time. Someone walked away in this situation and brought an ending. It was a crazy-ass ending. Could have been an Aquarius. Not necessarily. <clears throat> A lot of animals, though. So, you guys could just really be focusing on animals or wanting animals. I see a cat in this card as well. But it's the high priestess and it, the high priestess and the empress. You are staying in your power. Absolutely. You are moving forward successfully. And using your intuition is going to get you to where you want to be. We've got ten of pentacles. You're going to get to that ending that you're wanting. Again, another animal, y'all. We've got animals out the yin-yang. And babies. So I feel like you are going to get to the end goal that you're wanting by using your intuition and moving forward. It might be really hard to bring the changes that you need to bring. It could be very uncomfortable, but it's necessary for you to get to this Ten of Pentacles. It's absolutely necessary. With the Ten of Pentacles here, you could also be dealing with a home. Or be doing something to your home. I also see an RV. So you could have something to do with an RV. Hmm. Absolutely. So right here off the bat, we've got King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Justice. You are going to be getting an offer that is going to be fair to you. You're going to get a passionate new beginning. Let me show you this. High Priest. Ace of Wands, you're going to get the passionate new beginning that you deserve. The passionate new beginning that you've been wanting, that you know that you can get, that you've been patiently waiting on. There's going to be some sort of clarity that's going to come in to let you know who this person is. You could be meeting this person at your job or somewhere that you frequent. You could also have your dog when you see this person or meet this person. I get confirmation is that they could get you flowers near the first date. Man or woman, something to do with a flower. Take it and go. But right now I get the energy that there's a discontentment on an ending that has happened. But this person's coming in. I want more on this person. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Justice. What's going on? It could be heavy Capricorn. This person could be guarded about talking to you. Scared to come forward. Who's this King of Pentacles? Who's this King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles? Oh my goodness, Empress. Again, they see you in your power. They see you for what you're worth. They know what you're worth. They know you're the shit, Pisces. They know that if they get with you, you're the kind of person they have to husband up, wife up. Because you're not the kind of person that's going to stick around. You're the kind of person someone's going to come in and sweep off their damn feet and be like, sorry, you lost. Too bad, too sad. Two of fire, three of water. There is a celebration on the horizon. This is something you're going to cry about and be like, thank you, Jesus. I prayed for this. This is what I've asked for. There's going to be some sort of message coming in. Again, I'm getting heavy earth energy. When this message comes in, I feel like, Pisces, you're going to be confused on what to do. Again, just remember to take a moment. I just pulled the eight of air out, but it didn't come out upright. Take a moment. Don't rush it. Enjoy it. Savor it. Listen to your intuition and don't rush it. Don't self-sabotage. I see the world and the high, priest, high priestess. Don't sabotage. Remember that you deserve this. Universe, when's this person coming in for Pisces? Okay, so we got the card nine and eight. So eight, nine days, eight, nine weeks. Something along with that line. This person's just conflicted right now, I feel. That card's not as bad as what it seems. I feel like this person wants to come in, but they're scared that if they come in, you're going to reject them. So they're kind of on the teetering end. This could be someone that's just been watching you. <coughs> Excuse me. That's been in the shadows that you've just really not known about. And they're actually about to be coming out. Absolutely. Messenger of, yeah. So, we got Messenger of Earth. There's going to be an offer coming in. It might have taken a long-ass time. You guys might be like, why do I not have that perfect relationship? Well, we had to build to that, guys. Not everybody gets everything right off the bat. And just because someone's married now doesn't mean their ass won't be divorced when they're 50. I'd rather work on my issues early and tell me if you guys are the same and get these issues out of the way so that way you can enjoy the rest of your life with someone instead of bringing someone else through that shit with you. 
amount of water. You're going to get wish fulfillment. This is something that you begged for. This is something you prayed for. This is something you manifested. This is something that an offer of love that's justice for you. This is for you. This is your person. Wow, Pisces. Wow. I wonder if we can. Oh. I wonder if we can get a hidden oracle truth to see about this person. And it says, I want to be more than friends. So this new person could be a friend. <laughs> yeah. This person could be a friend. And it come out again. So again, you speak to me through music. This could be somebody that when you're around them, you listen to a lot of music. Um, and every time they hear a song, they instantly think of you. This could be a friend that you guys didn't realize was going to be someone big in your life. Wow. Mind blown. All right, guys. I'm going to leave that here. Have a blessed day. I love you guys so much. Check out the description box below if you need anything. Bye, guys.